So the what the fail moments, the WTF, do you have recollection of, and there's probably many, but maybe if you could boil it down to one or two, a time where there was something that came up, whether it was outside influences or decisions you made that caused you to get to the point where you could throw up your hands or, or, um, or it may have even taken you out. Do you have any kind of experiences or stories about that? I had two experiences where I, my two biggest failures I've ever had was one was a restaurant and then one was a wholesale bakery that we distributed the whole state of Virginia in 140 locations. So it was a very big like manufacturing facility. And, you know, I was emotional. I made emotional decisions as a business owner to put these people in partnerships with me that, you know, probably should have just stayed as employees, but I felt like very compassionate about what they were doing and wanted to give them an opportunity that I had in life and it failed miserably. I mean, they ended up doing drugs and just destroyed both businesses and it cost me over half a million, both of them. Over the period of how long? Uh, they were about two years each. And was it the, the, the financial uh, devastation of that that kind of brought you to the brink or, or, or what, was, what, what else was going on at the time? Yeah, you know what, I was emotionally, I was a young businessman at this point. So I was emotional about business myself. So it truly took an accountant to sit us down and say, listen, unless you close on June 30th, you're going bankrupt. Mm. And if it wasn't for him, I probably would have went bankrupt. But, you know, it's surrounding yourself with greatness has always been my philosophy in life. I wish I had that kind of counsel back in uh, end of 2019 when I started a collaborative work environment in Williamsburg. And my landlord, I did not know him, and uh, he was telling some stories. And, uh, and it, uh, we're, you know, it didn't work out. Uh, but even if it did work out, we were about ready to put another 30 grand into the business, and then COVID would have hit. Right. Uh, so hard lessons learned, but he came after me for for three months uh, a lease and was even going after the house and i had wow. to i had to file for bankruptcy but i had no counsel at the time sure uh, but it was, it the was losses, a mess i mean the losses in my life have made me an amazing businessman today you yeah. know it just makes me look at things a little bit differently because i'm a, a big risk taker but i understand what failure means and yeah once you understand how to fail well then you can actually succeed right right fail forward right yeah yeah, take take it as as school. 